Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So, today we've got one system from the user Mr. Eyeball Music in Discord, so massive thank you to them for sending this system in. And their system is called the Fokua system, version 3. So let's go ahead and see what they've prepared for us here. So here we are on the workshop already. Uh, where are we? Uh, there it is. Okay, so let's see what this is. Right. It looked like it had a big description from what I saw as well. Okay, woo. Oh, it has multiple pages, right. Oh, that's a pretty big system, whoa. How come the objects look, the orbits look weird? Is that the graphics settings have gone all weird? Oh, let's have a look. Uh, let's see here. We're all on high. I don't know why the trails are a little weird. I think the view mode, he's got, oh, he's got some buttons on the view mode on. Look, you can see. Okay, so let me just actually try and... Uh, uh, oh, um, view, that's it. Okay, let's see. Is it, no, it's not field of view, is it? Oh, I don't want to do that. Uh, uh right, where are we? Uh, lighting colours, enhance, glows. It's just icons he had switched on. I'm not sure the, why the, they look blurry, the trails, but yeah, we'll leave it the way it is. So... Let me just reopen it as well, just in case I did anything when I changed the field of view. So, let me uh, hop in there. I'm not sure why the trail, the trails do look a little bit blurry. I don't know if that's just me. Um, but anyways, yeah, let's hop back in. Right, anyways, let's actually get onto the system itself. So, the system is home to 15 planets, 4 dwarf planets, and over 100 moons. Uh, the main sequence star is 1.1 times as big as our sun. It lies within our local group, which has been visited by the people of Earth, who transplanted humans onto um, Sonidia. The people of Sonidia had to progress on their own and are now in the modern period, currently 2019, on their own calendar. Okay, cool. So there's a list of the planets from the closest to the furthest as well. Okay. So star itself, there's its stats. So bigger than the sun in all of its uh, stats there, more luminous as well. Okay. Right, so first of the planets, we have Mole here. So what's the next page? Whoa. Oh my god. That is a lot of stuff, right. Wow, that is crazy how, uh, so, okay, so we've read all that, so next is this. Okay, so, okay, so this isn't an actual planet then, by the looks of it, because he put, uh, Daemon is the closest planet to this. So this, okay, this is just an asteroid then, yeah, okay, so we've got Mole, Ooh. Ooh. Oh, uh, what was that? I've never seen that message before. If you want control of this simulation, ooh. Not seen that before. So I tried to right click the object like I normally would. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was weird. I don't know why I did that then. There we go. So, I've got the first uh, asteroid there. Then we must have. I guess we just have a bunch of asteroids here. Yeah, okay. Right, so this one here, the first of the planets. Okay, so. This is the closest planet. Um, it is the smallest of the inner system. It is similar to Mercury in appearance and it is grey in colour and is pitted with craters. Occasionally one of the seven inner asteroids will pass by and get caught in the gravity. It is moonless. Okay. And then it looks like it's got a probe around it. Okay. Cool. Next up we got uh, Charvace. I apologise in advance for probably getting all of these pronunciations wrong. And there's a lot of, uh, lot of uh, words in here. Right. It's slightly smaller than uh, Diamond, but it is similar in appearance, surface features and climate. The planet contains a core of silver and has gold deposits at its poles, making it a sought-after uh, destination for mining. Its moon, Carl Salk, has a single canyon stretching across its surface, with the canyon being another site of large gold deposits. Okay, so here it is. Cool. Alrighty, okay, there we are. So next object here, this is just a barren world. There we go. So, looking good. Nice. Uh, next up we got... Okay, so it's an Earth-like world. Sonidia is the first of the Hatter worlds and the second largest terrestrial. Human population is in their modern era. 
and a few nations have started space cruiser programs and set up space stations and such. The following nations have entered the space exploration stage. Republic of Red Crest, Republic of Nas Maria, Republic of West, I'm not even going to try saying that one. Uh, Dictatorship of the East, again I'm not going to say, I, <laughs> you've, you've lost me with these words. Republic of Linoria, Republic of Neo Zeon, Sonidian Prosperity Sphere, Emirate of Podkaja, Kingdom of Zobami, Okay, I've, I've wanted to say that's all of them. So you can see there's also got the, uh, every nation's got its own sort of coloured trail as well. So they're all different probes and stuff. Okay, nice. Uh, also got a moon here. So there it is. Okay. Oh my god, that is a lot of stuff. So there's its moons. So yeah, a lot of nations and stuff. <laughs> wow. Okay. So onto its moons. That's a lot of moons. So there's a probe and there's another. Okay. Let's click on that. It's quite a nice uh, coloured moon, that one. It has quite a lot as well. Then we have Badder over here. So that's the last of the moon. Okay. So there it is. Cool. So if we just look at the planet itself as well. So we didn't really get a good look at the planet. So here it is. Yeah, so quite a nice, uh, quite a nice uh, flight looking world there. Let's check its stats actually. That's what we usually do. 97 to 7, but no life likelihood. I wonder why. That's weird. Must be due for the atmosphere. Uh, no atmosphere on it. Ah, oh, it's glitched then, because it does show an atmosphere, so that's a bit weird. Um, anyways, moving on. Next up, we got a pose over here. It's a Mars-sized ocean world with intelligent life in the ocean. So life is isolated due to the ocean preventing space travel, so the nations of Sonodia are unaware for them for now. Okay. Nice. I select the planet. Come on. There it is, okay. Looking good. Nice uh, nice shade of blue on that one as well. It also has one moon. Has a uh, bioluminescent bacteria on it, okay. Nice. Oh, there it is. Hey, <laughs> cool. Nice. Okay, next up we got Zarvane. So that is this object here. Okay, the largest of terrestrials and the farthest rotating. Its rotational period is 5.6 hours long, which uh, gives the planet a slightly squashed shape. The planet also does not experience continental drift. And it has a lot of moons. So we'll go ahead and go through all of those up here. So most of them look like just bog standard moons. So there they all are there. Okay, nice. Okay, next up we got uh, Inner Belt Orbiter. So it's a probe in the asteroid belt area. Okay, so next up we got Ipor here. So this is gas giant, largest of all the planets, and it has the most moons. Oh my god. That is insane. That is a lot of moons. That gives Jupiter a run for its money, surely. Right, uh, we'll turn that off. Right. Nice shade of gas giant. I do like the purple band on it. That does look nice. Um... As most moons are well, it is hydrogen and ammonia based planet. Ipor often captures rogue asteroids heading towards the inner system. And it has a lot of moons. So, I mean, we'll try and sort of select them all. But, I mean, I can't make any promises because there's a lot and I could miss some. So, here they all are. So, it looks like the ones in deeper orange are the ones that we want to sort of view more. So, there they are. Okay. And Luri, that's the last one. So they're all the major moons. And the rest are all asteroids. Because you can see the trail colour is slightly different coloured for those guys. You can see on the icons as well. Look, these are darker orange. These ones are just more pale orange. Okay. So Luri is likely a captured planet. Yeah, you can see it's got oceans on it. Nice. Okay, but yeah, we're not going to preview every single moon. Because I'm assuming most of these are just asteroids, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, so next up we have got... That is a big ring system. Whoa, Damn. That reminds me of J1470-1407B uh, with the ring system there. Right, whoa. Okay, so. It's getting quite dark here, as you can see. Look, it's, uh, starlight isn't that bright. Okay, so it's the second largest planet and has the largest set of rings, with them being slightly larger than Saturn's. Ooh, so you got those rings, but then you got this massive ring system over as well. I mean, look, that's pretty big. Wow, we. Uh, the rings form when a rogue planet happened to wander too close. Okay. 
It's also got its list of moons here. So again, we'll try and cover them all. Um, the mage moons. So there they are. Okay. Yeah, this is a lot of moons in this system. I mean, that's crazy. Right. So there we go. Cool. Well, there's a moon called Hermea. Look. Whoa. Oh, God. Trying to spot it in all of those. Wow. Ho, ho. It's harder to distinguish the colors with all of these guys as well. I have no idea where it is. I mean, yeah, just trying to spot it with all that is uh, going to be quite difficult. But, yeah, there we are. So, I'm sure... Um, I mean, yeah, most of them are just normal. That doesn't look like they've been customized in any way. So, yeah, we'll move on. Okay. So, next up, we've got a... Aeus is the smallest of the gas giants in the second largest ring system. Nothing else important about it. Okay, so... This is definitely like the Uranus sort of equivalent. Oh, it looks it very, very dark here. Wow. Okay, so it's got major moons. We've got Toms, Santon, XA, and we have Sazar, and uh, this one here. There we are. And then also a bunch more uh, asteroids as well. Look at that. This is one called Sydney as well. Ah, nice. So there we are. Looks like, yes, yeah, some of them are named after cities and stuff. Interesting. Okay. So, zooming out. Next up, we have got Havasta. It's the second, it's the largest ice giant of the system. So, is it going to be like a Neptune blue by any chance? Ah, okay. So, we can sort of see a Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune sort of looks all four of these gas giants so far. And it is completely dark here. It is very far away then. Uh, oh, 145 AU, no wonder. I will go to directional light, I guess. I know I can't actually get to the... There we go. Uh, directional, there you go. Cool. That's a nice sort of realistic looking ice giant, you know, not too enhanced in the colours. Nice. Anyway, so this is Havasta. Largest ice giant in the system and contains actual ice inside itself. It's rumoured to have ore inside its core. Moons, it's got Cortune. Then we have Lust. Vanat. Over here. And I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be able to pronounce this one. So there is that. Okay. And then I'll see a bunch more uh, a bunch more moons as well. Well, he's got it all in with the moons. Wow, we. Pretty crazy stuff. And they're all custom named as well. Very, very nice. Okay, next up we have got... Still got plenty more to go. Um, so, Pantra. Uh, here we are. So, another another ice giant. Okay, so it's quite similar to the last one, isn't it? Um, as they were both born, so split of an ice giant. Torn in half by a collision early in its formation. Oh, okay. So it's like the other half of the planet which is checked out. Very, very similar in appearance as well. So, there's its moons. Again, just pretty bog standard moons there. Okay. Right, so next up we have got um, Saw XR. So we're taking another jump out here. So it's this pink one. Okay. The pink planet is its pink in colour. This is caused by its hazy atmosphere, which is pink. Its atmosphere has the strongest winds in the system as no one has ever seen its surface. Well, we're about to see it now. There it is. Okay, nice. Cool. It's all alone, no moons. Okay. So next up we have got this one over here. So its surface is covered by a thin sheet of ice, which is because of tectonic plate movement. It can sometimes create tall ice structures. Think of the ice spikes by in Minecraft. The planet's core is cooling off rapidly as time goes on. It has moon of Says. Here it is. Okay. So next up we got uh, Capra. It's a small brown icy planet in the outer system. So that is... They look like these white ones are all asteroids. So where is this... Capra, where is that? There it is. Cool. Uh, the planet has been visited by two space probes, both of which have recorded sounds of the planet. The sounds are similar to that of a squeaky door. No one knows what causes this noise. So next up we got Oricus, the furthest planet from Forca and is pretty much lifeless. Where is that? 
Uh, struggling to find it. Um, Auricus. I guess we could search it. See if we can work out where it is. Uh, O-R. There it is. So it is over here. Oh, it's got quite a dark trail. And I wonder I didn't see it. There it is. So here we go. Oh, it's got a pretty uh, smacked up surface by the looks of it. Look. It's definitely got some sort of custom editing done to it. Pretty much lifeless. It has one moon of Nidus over here. Okay. And then lastly, all of these remaining objects are the recognised dwarf planets. So, all of these guys here. So, for instance, this yellow one. These are all dwarf planets. So, pretty cool. So, all of the ones with, like, custom colours in the far reaches. I'm guessing the white ones are just asteroids and just other minor objects. Yeah, okay. Nice. So, these are all... Uh, all asteroids and all dwarf planets, I should say. And then that is that. And then lastly, it says the Terran's Voyager 1 reached the system in a few centuries. So Voyager 1 will eventually uh, arrive at this system. Ah, nice. Cool. I wonder if there's actually a Voyager 1 in here somewhere. It's on its way or no? Ah. Okay, cool. But yeah, there we go. So that does it for this system. So yeah, very nice indeed. Very, very well detailed as well. I mean, lots of moons as well. I mean, look at this list. That's a pretty big list. Look at that. It's pretty wild stuff there. Okay, so. Very nice indeed. So, yeah, a massive thank you again to the creator of the system, Mr. Eyeball Music, for sending this system in, guys. And also, yeah, make sure to uh, give him some love in the comments. Let you know what you think of his uh, system down below. And, yeah, guys, let's also see if we can go for 40 likes on today's video as well. Subscribe for more. Helps on the journey to 27,000 subscribers. And, yeah, that all said and done, guys. A massive thank you to you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.